Hey cute people, yes, yes, it's another haul video. I told you haul videos are simple for me to do. So much simpler than um, applying makeup, which I've done two of those videos and hopefully you did see them and you were kind to me. If you have not seen them, I'll link the videos here in the cards, right up here, one right behind the other. So hopefully you'll get a chance to check them out. Be kind, be kind to an old lady, please. But um, like I mentioned, this is going to be a whole video and I'm going to get right into it after I ask you to subscribe to my channel. I hope that you do. It wouldn't really cost you much time or effort or anything really. Just subscribe to my channel so that you can check out more of me. Yes, I'm not consistent. I'm here when I can get here. But when I'm here, I do have fun and hopefully you will have fun with me. Yes. So now. I just want to show you some things that I picked up recently. Um, this is not everything I picked up, but these are some of the highlights, I would think. Um, and yes, I do have some stuff from Julia's place. I'll save that for last. But you know, I went to Dollar General. Whenever I go to Dollar, Dollar General, I always look to see what's on sale as far as makeup. But there's one particular Dollar General I like to go to and look at the clearance items, and I found this. Now, this is by Broadway, and it's their fan brush. Now, what surprised me about it is it costs $3.60. I had meant to check my receipt to see if that is exactly what I paid. I hope not. But when I saw it, it was only one, and I don't see much Broadway cosmetics in Dollar Journals anymore. Maybe that's because now they'll be selling Believe. I don't know. But I picked it up, and this is the fan brush here. It came in this package. Okay. And on the back of this package... It gives you information on how to use the fan brush. So I thought that was really cool. But I like it. I wish that I had um, paid more attention to Broadway Cosmetics. I think I have some of their um, lip products. I can't remember exactly what it is. But I wish I had paid more attention, especially if they had um, beautiful brushes that look like this. But this was the only one. So I got this one. And mm, I don't know. I got it to apply highlight, but I don't know. Um, I am going to use it, but it feels really flimsy. I guess that would be good. Then maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. But it's Broadway. And like I said, I don't see much of their cosmetics too much in um, Dollar General. But if you see it around your way or where you shop at, check to see. Maybe they may have some of their brushes on clearance. So we're always in Walmart, right? So I went to Walmart. And I wanted to pick up, um, or I wanted to get an inexpensive eyeliner because I think I mentioned to you, if you watch those two uh, makeup videos after you watch this, you'll see some of the things that I mentioned, especially the makeup application video. When I apply eyeliner, it's kind of hard for me to get a straight line. And you want your line to be, it doesn't have to be um, bone straight, <laughs> but you want it to be straight. So I went to pick up um, this eyeliner because... Yeah, the felt tip, that, yeah, I really mess up with that. But again, I'm an old lady, but yeah. So I got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable, Retractable Eyeliner, and I got the color in black is black. And here's what the packaging looked like. I had already, well, I had just opened it, um, but so that I can just take it out. But I wanted to show it to you in the package, but this is what it looks like here. It's really cute. And small and tiny it's retractable which I do like um, in a pencil because I find with the retractable it gives me the small little line that I'm looking for you know nothing too big I don't like oh it's really smooth okay and that's what it looks like mm -hmm. and it has a smudger on the bottom here and that's great so let's see how this works out yeah, okay. It'll do a little something. Well, not really, but I don't think it really works too much as smudging the liner. But I wanted something that was inexpensive and not the felt type because, yeah, once you mess up with felt, to me, that's just about it. With this, I probably can do a lot more of correcting when I make a mistake, which I usually do because I'm getting old, y'all. But listen. And also, I picked this up here, which is an e.l.f. brush, another brush. Um, it's an airbrush stippler brush, precision airbrush stippler. 
and it's from Elf. Now here it says $5, but much to my surprise, it was only $1. And they had a couple of, this was the only one that was on clearance. I wish all the other brushes in this particular collection were on sale, but this was the only one. And I thought $5, because I think the regular price was 10 I thought $5 was great. But when I got to the register and it said a dollar, I was like, oh, okay. Yes, but it was the only one. And look how pretty it is. It has the clear handle. Really cute. Really nice. I like it. A dollar and it feels really good like I said I'm gonna keep checking periodically to see if um, some of the other brushes in this collection go on sale because these were pretty pricey so I don't want to pay ten dollars for um, a brush not really and I also picked this up which I have had um, I've hauled this before but I and when I hauled it before and started to use it, I said, if I ever see it again, I'm going to pick it up. And lo and behold, there it was. And it is the Makeup Brush Drying Wrap Rack by Beauty Cube. Yeah, I already have one of these. And I'm telling you, it really comes in handy. I like it because it's only $4.98. Sonia Kushik has one. I believe it's like $12. And I have never seen one um, as inexpensive as this one and yes it works yes it works and when i saw it i didn't want to spend any money on any type of beauty product but when i saw it i said i have to get it because i already have one and i know how well it works and it's great to have two because um especially if you have a lot of makeup brushes like what i have over there it really comes in handy. So to sit something like this here and then you put your brushes in it. And one thing I like is that with these big slots here, I can put like three or four other brushes in here, but it holds a total of, I guess, two, six, 14. Yeah, so I got that again, which I'm telling you now, if you see it in the store, pick up one or two because everyone else seems to have them for so much more than that price. $4.98. And you cannot beat that. And here's what the packaging looked like. Because I didn't show you the packaging. It's just like this. And then in the first video, when I talk about my makeup application, I had asked you guys about some lashes that look natural. Now, someone did give me a suggestion, but um, I hadn't been to Ulta after that suggestion so i didn't try those eyelashes but i will so thank you for the suggestion um the eye lure yeah but i picked these up and they say these look so natural and they look natural to me and these are kiss no glue i have what um five pair and i didn't intend to get some glue from um kiss but i did not i do have some glue that i purchased from dollar tree which i don't think is too bad but i just wanted something a little bit better but i think this is really pretty good and at the same time i bought these ulta had a sale on lashes for the same price so these were like 888 and i think at ulta the regular price of lashes in this style you know um were like 10 11 dollars but then on sale it was like eight dollars also so i got a pretty good deal and it also tells you how to put the lashes on now i don't wear lashes a lot but i like them i think when you have a certain type look you should have on some lashes so i'm gonna move on to ulta ulta now i've had this bag for a while Mm -hmm, I sure did and you know I, I, I buy stuff I put it down and I don't get back to it for a while um, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what I picked up because this particular sale here was if you buy $15 I believe of elf makeup you get something for free and I'll show you what that is but one thing I didn't need but I bought it anyway and I think I bought it so I could meet the $15 so I can get this free gift I'm going to show you. I bought a total face sponge. You can use it wet or you can use it dry. Now I've seen one or two people here on YouTube use it. I can't remember who. I can't remember but I think the one person I can remember said they liked it so um but I had this already before I saw their video. But I figured you know I am going to get it. And then, I don't know why I got a highlighter 
or was this the item I bought just so that I could make the fifteen dollars? Because I'm going to show you in a minute what I really went to pick up. Okay, so I got a bake highlighter, and this is apricot glow. Let me take it out so you can see it. I don't know why. Why did I get this? You know, and one thing about Ulta, you can go into different Ulta's and you can see a large selection of whatever brand. So let's take Elf. You go into one Ulta and you can see a lot of product from Elf in Ulta. In, in Ulta. You go to another one and the display is this big. You go to another one is this big you go to another one and it's this big so a lot of things you see at a Ulta I'm telling you now if you want to get it you better get it because the Ulta near me they have nothing I want like I look for the makeup eraser eraser towel they didn't have it they don't carry it there I had inquired about the ordinary because I just wanted to check out those products they didn't have that there and then I also wanted to see um there was one other thing I was looking for and of course they didn't carry that there either but I think when it came to all, no, I'm going to say all, <laughs> when it comes to Elf, there was something I was really looking for in the one that I shopped that didn't have it. I believe I bought these in Greenville, North Carolina, I believe. But anyway, this is the baked highlighter, Apricot Glow. And it is pretty. And we ain't going to debate that because it's very, very pretty. I know the light is kind of blocking it, but it is really, really gorgeous. I'm going to watch it okay and that's what it looks like if you can see it and I'm gonna swatch it on my hand here oh okay I think I'm gonna and that's what apricot glow looks like and I have so many highlighters and I purchased a highlighter palette I don't know why I got this one but you know hey Makeup is makeup and makeup is fun. This is what I really wanted to get um, with some face oils or moisture drops. Now, I have dry skin, so I wanted to check this out. So, I got this. This is a booster drop. It's hydrating. They have different types for different things. But I picked this again because I have dry skin. So, let's see what I can tell you about this stuff here. Because I really need to start taking better care of my skin because I don't know if it has to do with my age or not, but my skin is starting to look really horrible. I never really had any skin problems as I was growing up or as a young lady, but for some reason now I have a lot of um, issues I really don't like, like the dark circles, which I didn't really cover up much around my eyes really I don't like that and then around my mouth is dark which at one point it wasn't so I don't know if it has the, the darkness around my mouth I don't know how if that has to do with my face getting fuller I don't know but I don't like it but this is the hydrating booster drops I forgot how much it cost but here it is I want to see what it smells like okay no smell and here it is here I want to see what it feels like It was kind of jelly. I don't know if you saw. You probably didn't even see that. But it's kind of jelly. You see it there. No smell. Okay. Oh, it gives my hand a real nice glow. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can compared to the rest of my hand. You see the little glow there? Okay. So... As a matter of fact, let's see what they say about how you are to use them. Apply it. Apply a few drops and massage onto clean skin. Damp skin will help experience absorption. As they say, that's not what it says. Oh my gosh, I cannot read. Okay, absorption. Or mix with your moisturizer or foundation and then apply. Blend evenly into the face, neck, and chest. Use as often as desired. But what is that word there? Oh my God, I can't see. Extra. Help. Will help extra. Oh, will help enhance absorption. Okay, that was hard. I'm not going to lie. 
Oh, child. If you're a young person, be glad you can see. <laughs> if you can't see, whether you're young or old, trust me, I know how you feel. Because I had a hard time getting that. Okay. Now, um, when you purchase, I believe, it was, again, it was $15 at Ulta. You get a free gift of the Elf Poreless Putty Primer Universal Sheer. So, this is what it is. Really cute, right? I didn't have to buy the big one. And... I really wanted to try this. I probably could have just bought the big one and didn't have to buy the sponge and the big highlighter, but that's okay. Here's the little cute thing here. I just wanted to try it. But one thing I can say, I don't have the big one, so if I didn't use it much, it's not like it's a waste, right? I, the, the big highlighter, I think I will definitely be using it. And the sponge, of course, I will be using that, so. Um, I look forward to using those things there. Okay, now another thing I picked up, because I love, love, love eyeshadow palettes. So I picked up some stuff from, what's the name at? In this box is, am I going crazy? Because I thought the box always had a name on it. Well, it doesn't have a name on it, but it's Juvia's Place. Yes, yes, yes. I picked up three, four palettes. I sure did. I really did. They had a sale. And one thing I'll say about Juvia's Place for me, I will not be picking up anything from them unless they have a sale. And this here, um, these palettes were $12 each. And I used the coupon code Duke That. So if you want to purchase something from Julia's Place, use the code, do that. So I got four palettes. I'm going to show them to you in no particular order. Um, the first one I picked up was the Deuce by Julia's. Okay, here it is. One thing I can say about this company, which I think grabs me all the time, is their packaging. Look at, the, look at that. And then when you open it up, I opened it up once and I just put it down. I really didn't pick it up again. But here's the packaging. As you can see, it's still in the plastic. And here's the beautiful palette. Like I said, I got it and put it down and never picked it up again. But one good thing about these palettes, and maybe that's why um, they are kind of inexpensive they don't have a mirror but it'd be nice even if you put a small mirror down here up up at the top and then the beautiful graphic i don't care but put a uh, just so big put a mirror in here but here's the beautiful goddess again and here's the palette i think this one is fairly new i don't keep up with juvia's place like that to know which one is coming and how which one is new who's old what the first one was but look at that look at that palette it is gorgeous Gorgeous. And I have other Juvia's palettes that I haven't even... And these have names. This one does. And I have other Juvia, Juvia's Place palettes that I have never even dipped a brush in yet. And then you, I ask myself, girl, why are you placing this order? And then myself will say to me, you just, you just have to do it. Because these palettes are really, really pretty. So that's the deuce. I don't think that's an old palette. But if you follow... Juvia's more than I do, then you'll know. So this is the Zulu mm -hmm. by Juvia's. I wonder why it doesn't say Juvia's Place. Okay, but it's by Juvia's. And again, there's a beautiful goddess on the front of the packaging. Mm-hmm. So let's see what we got here. Yep, still in the plastic. I don't throw things away. I don't know why. And this is the beautiful palette, beautiful goddess on the front. I like this color. It's like a real pale violet. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really, really pretty. And if, when we look inside the palette, here is that goddess again. Yeah, here's the goddess. And here is the beautiful colors for the palette. Now, this one here doesn't have a name. Oh, but these colors, look at them. Oh my gosh, you see this green right here? It is blue and this green and that purple and oh my gosh, and that orange. This palette is gorgeous. Yes. 
What power can I say is not gorgeous with Juvia's place? Their palettes and the pigments are really, really pretty. I, um, I don't know. Like I said, I just have to stop buying makeup because I don't really get a chance to play in makeup like I would like, but I don't know. If anything, I can say I have them. So here's another one, The Festival by Juvia's. Really, really pretty. We have a man and a woman on this one. Oh, all right. And the colors, that's what gets me, I think, is the colors of the packaging. And it's just so pretty. And I, 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 I love the vibrant tangerine PT corally color here. And here's the palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the palette. Open it up. There are the beautiful people. And here is the palette. Now, this one here has names, but look at this color here. Oh, my goodness. Look at these colors. Okay, let me do it this way here. Look at that one. This one and this one here. This one. This, okay, just look at the whole palette. It's really pretty. And this one is the festival. Yes. It's pretty. Yes. And it has the names of the shadows listed, so that's a good thing. So, I have one more palette I want to show you guys. And then I'm going to be finished for now. I'm going to find a place to put all this stuff. Um, because I'm running out of space to put stuff. And that's never a good thing. But here's the last item that I purchased in this sale. Julia's Place. All palettes, $12. Regular price, $20. So, I did pretty good, I think. And then with the um, discount, dupe that. This is the Warrior 2 by Julius. Here's another one. What color is this? This is like a pretty peach. Oh, I don't know. It's just the packaging. Who designs this packaging does a great job. But this is really, really pretty. Pretty Goddess is on the front. I take it out. You know it's already still in the plastic. But here we go again. You know, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so on the back of the packaging, she gives you a little detail. Well, there's a little detail here. Like this is the Juvia, this is the Warrior 2 palette. So it tells you the Amazon. So I guess these are the Amazons and has a little story on the back, which it'll take me a long time to get into. But you probably own Juvia's Place palette, so you know what I mean. Now this palette here, oh, really, really pretty. There's the Goddess once again, and here's the colors. And these have names. Black. Ooh, goodness gracious. So I'm not going to swatch any of them at this time because the video will be much more longer than it is going to be right now. And I don't want it to be very long, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I picked up. Um, it seems like Juvia's place lately. I'm not sure why, but there's always some type of sale going on. I don't know if before or after I picked these up, there was there was a sale going on with the uh, foundations. And I believe right now there's a sale going on with the foundations. Like buy one, get another foundation for free, I believe. And some of the palettes are still on sale. So, you know, go on over to Julia's place and pick you up some palettes because I picked up four. And if my budget allows on the next sale, or maybe even if I check later on to see if there's still a sale, I may pick up some more. But right now, this is what I have. And this is my little haul. So I'm not going to keep you guys much longer than I have already. I'm going to end this video because I want to start cooking. Yeah. I wanted to start cooking. I'm just going to make a meatloaf, maybe do some potatoes, something simple, nothing too complex, but I am hungry. I should have started cooking before I did this video. But anyway, I just want to ask you once again to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. These lights are getting to my eyes, so you may see me keep looking down so I can blink a little bit, but again, I do want to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video hopefully in this video here 
I've given you some information or showed you something that you may be interested in. And if so, then I am glad to do that. But again, I'm going to end the video. Want to make me some meatloaf. Well, cook me something to eat. And I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. And I want you to do nothing but share and spread love.